Leo, Leo, welcome to Cut Above Tarot. This reading is from October the 19th to October 31st, 2022. In love. However, whatever comes out in the cards, we're going to read that too, Leo. All right. Now, I didn't hear nothing hot and sexy for you. It's like right now, Leo, you observe it. Your ears are wide open. You're paying good attention. Ain't nobody going to let nothing get past you. You are in your observant mode. All right. So what do Leo need to know in love from the 19th to the 31st, 2022? And by the way, Leo, a cut above tarot was... Uh, Created for those that are mature in mind, body, soul, and spirit. All right? The card at the bottom uh, says that uh, you're not dealing with you're not dealing with no hurt, no pain. So you, you guarding yourself today. You're shielding, but you got your ears open. I know you got your ears open because my ears feel like they like this big. Both of them, like I'm listening. I'm waiting to hear something. Yep. What do Leo need to know today? What do Leo need to know? Okay, Leo. Addiction. Somebody is codependent, obsessed, and possessive. Wow, controlling and has a has a block or restraint. Leo, did you block somebody or put them on, or you put a restraining order on somebody? Okay, well, that Not Today card could also reflect to this card right here. Uh huh. But it looks like somebody's addicted to you, or you addicted to somebody, or there's some codependent going on. One can't do nothing without the others. So, uh, you know, something like that. So, you might want to. Get a handle on that obsession, Leo, if that's you. All right, Leo. Wow. All right, Leo. All right. Look like you're going to have some emotional ups and downs from the 19th to the 31st. Uh, they don't want you to deceive yourself, okay? Or others. All right, that's the moon card. Now, some I'm, I've told, I'm told that this moon card also means something is hidden. But look, you got the magician card. Now, you know, you know, Halloween haven't hit yet, so. Moon, magician. Might be some magic going on. Somebody doing some love spells. Mm-hmm. All right, Leo. Yep, somebody taking a chance. Look at that. Somebody about to take a chance. And it's going to cause a child moment. Yeah, a good time, mom. Somebody about to, good Lord Almighty, good Lord Almighty. Yep. Yeah. So look like somebody gonna be doing some love spells or something. And once you do this love spell or whatever kind of spell is it, we all talk about love, right? When you do that, look like somebody gonna take a chance. They're just gonna jump out there and they're heading your way. Yep. Yep. And it's gonna bring a towel moment. Let's find out about this towel moment before we close this down. All right. It's Four minutes on the clock. Oh, here we go. Watch out now. You got your lover, baby. This is whatever the spell is that you're getting ready to do. Are you doing right now? It's going to bring in this person, Leo. Now, Leo, it could be sun, moon, rising, Venus, or wherever it may be, have placements in your chart of Leo. But Leo, looks like you're about to get what you're looking for. Uh, will it hold? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. But I've heard this here, and be honest with you, if I ever did a love spell, I uh, I try not to direct it to a particular person because that that's like taking away a person's free will. And me, myself, 
if, if, if a person came toward me, I want them to love me wholeheartedly. I don't want it to be something that I, I had to persuade someone to do. I want to make sure that I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this person wants to be with me. So I wouldn't do a spell on them to make them be with me. Because then you never know if it's, if they really truly love you. And who is the same? They can also turn around and hate you. So, what else? Is this love spell going to stick that Leo is doing? Is it going to stay? Is this person going to stay? One more shuffle, please. Is this person going to stay with Leo once they complete this spell? All right, they don't want to tell me jack crap, huh? But we're going to see what happens. Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups. Good Lord Almighty. Look like you're going to be pulling two knights in. Hello. You're going to have a pig bagger. And the knights don't have to actually be men. They can be women. They can be somebody embodying this energy. Yep, young man up to age of 25. Young man up to age of 25. So you're going to get a point in the letter. Uh-huh. And... Yeah, so somebody needs to have a little bit more confidence as well, all right? But there's a letter coming in. Could be a text message, could be a phone call, but there's a message coming in. And also, yeah, you got these two nights. All right, that concludes your reading. You have a wonderful day, Leon.